nung linggo na tayo ng ating mathematics um, first quarter week 8 so our topic is about division of fraction so let's have a definition of terms before we proceed to our We have fraction, simply tells how many parts of a whole. So, mga nakatang lesson natin na pag-aaralan natin yan. So, we have the dividend or the number being divided. And then, uh, we have the next uh, term. We have the divisor. It is a number that will divide the dividend. So, nakikita natin yung example dyan. Siya yung um, after the division part. And then, we have the quotient or the answer after we divide one number by another number. Yan naman yung after the answer. So, always remember that we have division of fraction. We have the divide. We have the dividend. We have the divisor. And we have the quotient. So let's proceed now to our main topic for today. Is the division of fraction. So to divide a fraction by another fraction, we have four steps. So step one. Get the reciprocal of a divisor. Step 2. Multiply both numerators. And then after that, multiply both denominators. And step 4. Reduce the answer to lowest terms if it is possible. So uh, always remember that the, the first step is to find the reciprocal of a divisor. Babalik ta rin lang. And then, after that, we multiply the numbers or the numerators, yung mga number nila sa taas. And then, after that, we multiply yung mga nasa number nila sa baba. And then, after that, we will reduce the answer to the terms, to lowest terms, if it is possible. So let's try to answer this problem. So a 5-6 meter wire is to be cut into pieces. Lito helped his father cutting it into 112 meter long. So the question is, how many pieces can he cut from the wire? So meaning to say, we will divide 5 over 6 to 1 over 12. So 5 over 6 divided by 1 over 12. Do you think is the answer? So that's the answer that that's the number of pieces he can cut from the wire. So let's let's show the solution. So here's the solution. Five over six divided by one over twelve equals so step number one. Get the reciprocal of the divisor. So, the divisor is 1 over 12. So, 1 over 12 will become 12 over 1. So, it's going to be 5 over 6 divided by 12 over 1 is equal to the answer. So, let's have step number 2. Multiply the numerator and multiply the denominator. So, 5 times 12 equals 60. And 6 times 1 equals 6. So the answer will become 6 over 6. But we have up um, next step that we need to do. Express the answer in simplest form. So 6 divide, uh, six over 6. We will divide uh, it into 6. So 6 divide 6 will become 10. And 6 divide 6 will become 1. And then 10 over 1. 
And since the denominator is 1, the lowest term of that number should be a whole number. It should be 10. So 5 over 6 divided by 1 over 12 is equal to 10. So always remember um, the first step, get the reciprocal. And then the second step is uh, multiply the numerator and then multiply the denominator. After that, that's the answer. And titignan natin kung kaya pa ba natin siyang i-lowest term o pag 10. So 60 over 6, dahil both numbers can be divided into 6, dinivide natin siya ng both numbers. So 60 divided 6 will become 10 and then 6 divided 6 will 10 over 1. So, always remember class, kapag yung denominator natin o yung number sa baba is 1, kapag lowest term aalisin natin yung number sa baba. So, the answer will become whole number. It will become 10 only. Okay? So, 5 over 6 divided by 1 over 12 equals 10. So, meaning to say, how many pieces can he cut from the wire? It's 10 pieces. 10 pieces of wires, he can cut. So, let's have another uh, scenario. So, to multiply a whole number by a fraction, so the first step, first convert the whole number to a fraction by putting 1 as the denominator. And in the second step, get the reciprocal of the divisor and then multiply the numerators, multiply the denominator, and then last, express the following or the answer in simply a fraction. So, again, uh, na natin yung whole number. So, yung whole number, for example, is 4. Lalagyan lang natin siya ng so, 4 over 12 is equal to 4 over 1. Okay? And then, we follow this step then. So, let's have an example.
is equal to 6 and 1 times 2 is equal to 4. So the answer is 6 over 2. So we will find if there is a simply a score between them. So 6 and 2 are both numbers that we can divide. So 6 divided 2 equals 3. 2 divided 2 equals 1. So the answer will become 3 over 1 or 3. So meaning to say there are um, 3 frames that we can be able to make in 2 meters with a size of 2 third meter square. Okay? Okay, so here are the things that you need to remember. So in dividing fraction by another fraction, get the reciprocal of the divisor, multiply both numerators, multiply both denominators, and then reduce the answer to lowest number. And then the other one, in dividing a whole number by a fraction, copy the dividend and put one as the denominator in the whole number. And then the next one, get the reciprocal of a divisor. And then multiply the numerator, multiply the denominator, and reduce the answer to lowest number. So here's, here are the steps that you need to remember first for you to be able to divide a number, fraction to fraction, or whole number to a fraction. Okay? So if you learn from this... Um, video lesson so please click like and subscribe and click the notification bell para updated ka sa aking mga videos and again thank you for watching